I am Jen. I'm the architect of Novos and I'm also a researcher. At Novos, we are building a layered network. By layered network, I mean the network is uh, comprised of like layers of protocols instead of a single blockchain. The key difference between layer one and layer two is the consensus scope. By consensus scope, I mean how many people, how many nodes participate in the consensus in this protocol. With layered architecture, we can chase for security on layer one, but like we can sacrifice a little bit of security on layer two to exchange for like better user experience. Like we can have state channel aligning network on layer two for lower latency, right? If you want to process transactions in parallel, a basic requirement is you can detect the dependencies between transactions in advance so you can uh, route transactions to different processors. The cell model in one sentence is basically a generalization of UTXO. My name is Kevin. I'm one of the co-founders of Nervous Project. What Nervous Project is to build the infrastructure for the decentralized economy. We are the only blockchain uh, want to do this multi-asset store value. So we have again a layered approach, and then the base layer of this network is going to focus on to be the secure and you know censorship resistance multi-asset store value. We started designing this uh, economic model starting last um, September, October, and it took us about three months to finally come up with you know, what we have today. We want it to be sustainably secure, right? sustainably decentralized. Uh, for all the actors in the system, we want to be able to align all the interests of all the participants in the network, right? In other words, we want people that participate in the network to all help to grow the network instead of fighting each other. My name is Ren Zhang. I'm a researcher at Nervos, and I'm also a PhD student of Bart Preneel of Kozik Research Group, KU Leuven. If you're not familiar with Kozik, it's the birthplace of AES the advanced encryption uh, standard which is used in all of your cell phones. We use NCMAX, a variant of Nakamoto consensus with higher throughput as its consensus protocol. Two things we would like to change in Nakamoto consensus. First, the protocol prescribes a manual throughput limit of 4 megabytes every 10 minutes. The second thing we would like to change is its incentive issue, namely the infamous selfish mining attack. Here's three major innovations of NCMAX. To reduce orphans, we use two-step transaction confirmation. To best utilize the bandwidth, we use dynamic block interval and block reward. To defend against selfish mining, we consider all blocks in the difficulty adjustment. When the attacker has more fruit, the attacker has less gambling gain. Because you want to gamble when you have nothing to lose, but if you have more things to lose, you don't want to gamble, which means more fruits slightly contributes to incentive compatibility. I'm Alan Chapinets. I do research for Nervos Foundation. I am a co-author on the marvelous family of Stark-friendly hash designs. What are the desirable properties of a proof-of-work function? Firstly, hard to solve can come to mind, but it doesn't really capture what you want. What you really want is tunable hardness because, well, in traditional Bitcoin, the block rate is supposed to be 10 minutes per block, roughly on expectation. Uh, Nervos has a more intelligent solution optimizing bandwidth usage, but there has to be a way to regulate um, how difficult it is to solve the problem as a function of uh, network circumstances. Next is easy to verify. You want every node on the network to be able to verify that a proof of work puzzle has been solved 
independently of whether they are a large server farm or small nodes running on a Raspberry Pi or an Apple iWatch. <laughs>